So as we wrap up, first off, I want to apologize for the sign-in sheet. I, it came to my attention it was very trans-exclusive, uh, and that's completely my fault. It, full uh, responsibility of that. It was in a rush, but there's no excuses. That just shows that we all, especially me, have a lot of learning to do, so I'm sorry. Um, I want everyone to know that this is just the beginning, right? We sparked a conversation on what we can do for session. Uh, however, I want to call out Lou Weaver. He's with Equality Texas. Uh, of course, Fred Watson with the Houston GLBT Political Caucus. I think we have some human rights campaign folks here. Uh, we are all going to mobilize and join a coalition that's diverse to fight these terrible bills. I want to wrap up the conversation with a final question for the panelists. Uh, can you all summarize in a very tweetable response <laughs> what we can expect from you during session and what you encourage us to do? Tweetable response. <laughs> to be loud. Last session we were soft spoken, um, didn't really take a very loud stance, but we realized that there's a lot of money on the line for Texas, so we're going to be loud, so please join with us, yell with us. I'm sorry, I was retelling my story of my delayed appointment at the medical center that delayed me getting here, I didn't hear the question. No worries. Gotcha, Senator. Good, thank you. I'll see you a good staffer. In a very tweetable response, uh, what can we expect from you during session and what do you encourage us to do? Fight like hell, fight like hell. I mean, that's all that we can do. Uh, and it'll be a lot of defense, but we've got to let our voices be heard and uh, don't let anybody stop you. Select your three top priorities. Send your lobby team up there and help them by being a good resource for them uh, on research and uh, manpower when they need it and other things that would be helpful in order to get your three issues through. I typically do some of my best work behind the scenes, and there's an amazing amount that you can accomplish when you're not doing it to get the credit or to be a Twitter champion or to get headlines in the newspaper. So, I'll be really What do you encourage us to do? Be at the Capitol if you can, contact. Um, you know, it's the same thing we've been talking about just stay engaged. And but, but oh, also, don't disengage when the session ends because you know, there's 18 months and we're going back in, and you know that's a whole lot of time where people are re that are running for um, re-election. You know they're raising money. You don't have to give money because trust me, people coming to knock on on, a, on some doors on a Saturday morning for two hours is invaluable. Um, and you then get to spend a lot more time with the state rep than you ever would in the Capitol in a legislative session. Or in shorts and t you know, and a t-shirt and tennis shoes, so it's a more relaxed way to interact. So whatever happens, don't disengage just because we sign and die, because none of these issues are gonna go away. Thank you all so much. Thank you, panelists. during the announcement of our event. There's also a handout of a brief description of what the Texas legislator legislates. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Um, it is also a Harris County State Elected Official Directory where you can contact your representative directly. Thank you. And we're posting everything in the Facebook event group. Thank you all so much. Have a good night and drive safely.